Hi, I'm Chet Chaney, technical agronomist with Delta Pine. When we have a product like 1646, that sets a really high bar. And for the last couple years, as we've launched our new Bolgard 3 Extend Flex products, we've kind of struggled to catch up with it. That changes this year. The class of 20 made a difference. The first one we're going to look at is Delta Pine 2012. I'm partial. I really like shorter, easy to control cotton that finishes quick, might save me a plant bug application at the end of the season, it might save me an irrigation at the end of the season, but still yields. We had one a few years ago in a Bolgar 2 Extend Flex, but it's really struggled to get out of the ground. 2012 doesn't struggle. Great emergence. Uh, actually, it's a little better than 1518, which is kind of what we're going to replace with. And 2012 looks awfully, awfully good. You can see it's pretty easy to control. This is an aggressive style, but you may find this hard to believe, but this has only had 48 ounces of plant growth regulator on it. We stay legal here at the Scott Learning Center. So looking out here on maturity, this one is finishing up pretty quickly. It doesn't fruit extremely early, about a six and a half first fruiting branch, but I checked some of the uh, nodes above white flower and basically we're at four, which means we were at physiological cutout about three or four days ago. It's finishing out pretty quickly and yet the bowl load is pretty solid. That's a lot of bowls in a pretty short period of time for Delta Pine 2012. And remember, this also is bacterial blight resistant, moderate tolerant on vers verticillium wilt and yield. So where does it come out on yield versus the other early products that we've seen? Versus 1518, we're looking at about 143 pounds. 143 pounds better than 1518, which is a heck of a product. That's on 45 different trials in several years. So everybody asks, okay, so how close can you get to 1646 with this little guy right here? In 73 trials, we missed it by, or we actually bleed it by a pound. So the yields are up there with the products that are setting the tone. We picked up Bolgard 3, and we have saved several days in maturity. The next class of 20 that we're going to talk about is Delta Pine 2020 Bolgard 3 Extend Flex. We mentioned earlier that 2012 was quite a bit earlier than 1518, and we keep referencing back to 1518. This one is going to be very close to 1518, but it's got a lot of improvements beyond the Bolgard 3. For one, the vigor is going to be about the same, so that's a wash. The second thing is, I think it's easier to control the stalk. The plant structure is a lot better here than what we had on 1518. Overall plant height is going to end up about the same, but it's easier to control. Uh, the last one we looked at was a node above white flower about four. This one's about a five and a half, so they're beginning to take a little bit longer to mature, but the bowl load on this is really good. Uh, this one did particularly well uh, around northeast Arkansas, uh, around the Jonesboro area. Our MP growers last year had a great run with this. Fiber quality is good. Uh, better, the fiber length and strength are both better than 1518 and 1725. So Delta Pine 2020 is another good replacement for that 1518 that picks up Bolgard 3. So we've talked about the class of 20 having products that were up to the yield of Delta Pine 1646. We're going to not do that right now. This one's better. This one yields more consistently than Delta Pine 1646. Delta Pine 2038 Bolgard 3 Extend Flex. You'll, you'll see a different plant type here. We call it a Christmas tree. These rows here, it's a little more columnar at the top. At the bottom, it still has a decent base. So it takes, might take a little longer to cover the canopy, but it still does it eventually. Uh, the top gets pretty thin at the top. So it's just got a different look to it. Don't freak out when you see it. Comparing it to 1646 from a yield standpoint, we're 62 pounds better on three years worth of data. Um, that's a lot, 69% win rate versus 1646. That's a mouthful. Uh, compared to 1725, it's 127 pounds better. So it yields incredibly well. Emergence is very similar to 1646. Uh, it is bacterial blight resistant, as I mentioned. And the one thing back, the average, the, it's got average length quality, fiber quality. Uh, so it does drop off a little bit there, but that yield is tremendous. And comparing how we look, usually on height, 
Breeding data, we've seen this come back at about the same height, maybe an inch or so shorter. Out here under this aggressive management, we have seen the 1646 be a little shorter out here. But the load is great on it. Um, and it's a great product to move forward with. It works well on the east side of the river. Um, and from a maturity standpoint, I, don't, I wouldn't worry about it over there. Um, probably want to look at cutting off planting late part of May, but other than that, we're in good shape on this product. This is one we really, really need to take a strong look at. Regarding 1646, guys, it's been the leading product for years across the entire cotton belt. You know what to do with it. Be aggressive on your plant growth management, and basically it goes everywhere, and super fiber quality. So that's a look at the main products that we're running for this year in Delta Pine.